Okay, so this is a quick tutorial on CAD Link after you've done installation. So what you wanna do is you wanna come down here, you wanna make sure you got 13 by 19 auto page. And this is for um, the older version of the ETA55. I think it has V2 now, but this is the color ink you want it in. WWCYMK, which is white, white, cyan, yellow, magenta, and black. Um, once you've done your installation, you do need to come up to Q, manage cues, and you should see your printer here, and you're going to hit install. Okay, so now your printer is installed. In order for your printer to print, you have to choose the correct port. You're either going to do TCIP network, which is going to search for your printers. And I don't have my printer on right now. But your printer's IP address will pop up right here if you're connected wirelessly. And you will select the IP address if you want to choose them, um, if you want to print wirelessly. If you want to print, it's going to validate connection if you choose that. I guess we'll wait. It's stop responding, but we're back. Or um, normally USB will pull up right here as well, but I don't have it plugged to USB right now. So it's on Wi-Fi. So if you don't choose this and you hit print, then your printer is not going to print at all. It's going to give you an error message. You come up here. So I already have pictures here. But if you want to add a picture, you come up here and add. And just choose picture. That's going to load your image over here. So you can either drag the image and expand it. Or you can come over here under job. Hit the unlock button. And you can change the size. You can see the size is changing. Okay. These are the margins. I don't like any margins because it'll it'll crop your picture. See. It's going to start from the top now since we've changed that to zero. Um, once you size the picture the way you want, <clears throat> you can choose whether it's going to automatically mirror or not. This is how it's going to print out. So it automatically mirrors. You don't have to change anything. So it's going to print out that way. Um, then once you're done, you just hit print. Once you hit print right here, it's going to go active and then it's going to go, it's going to start print and then you're good to go. Now, this is just a quick tutorial to just show you, you know, what to do, how to size under job. Make sure you hit unlock, <clears throat> put in your sizes. Make sure you don't, if, you, if you're if you printing towards the center or if you say you're printing, you know, to the left or to the right, make sure you check your margins because those probably are not at zero. Um, once you print, the job is going to go here. You can go up and... Um, I think Q and properties and set it up to where these can save for a certain amount of days and then it'll delete or you can just leave it alone and they'll just keep saving and then if you ever want to drag a job from here you just double click and pull up here and then you're good to go so I like mine to save because I sometimes come back I always print a purge file so I keep it right there so this is a, just a quick overview or a quick tutorial um, if you ever have any issues or error messages, you can um, right click here and it'll have like clear error down here. You can clear the error, but it's not an error right here right now. So um, and again, anytime you're not printing, 
or it's not printing, go here to check your cues and make sure your port, this is important, make sure your port is actually set up properly, either Wi-Fi or USB. That's the first thing you want to check if you're ever not getting a good print or if it's not communicating with the printer. Um, this pretty much is self-explanatory. Set up your maximum white ink. I don't mess with any of my settings because I don't um, design in CAD link. I actually just, I use Photoshop and just upload and print. I only come in here and upload my picture and print. That's about it. I don't do any settings because I, I wouldn't be able to tell you anything about settings. Um, but this is just a quick how to get started on CAD link if you, you know, you had any questions on how to get started.